Hey, hi, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. This is Life in the Ash Lane, where we're gonna learn how to navigate the lanes of life together, okay? So if you are new to my channel, you know that I am from TikTok. I am building a community of like-minded people on TikTok. If you have not already followed me on TikTok, you should. Life in the Ash Lane, the same as this channel. Here goes all the little information here. Um, if you are one of the original OGs of this YouTube channel, you'll remember that I used to be Life I Do That. Well, we have upgraded. We have progressed. So now this channel is called Life in the Ash Lane. And today I'm going to be reviewing one of my top view TikToks. How do you review yourself? I don't know, but we're going to do it today. So this TikTok that I'm going to share with you guys on my TikTok channel, it has 200 2.6 million views. Let me get that right. 2.6 million views on my TikTok account, page, channel. Listen, you, you know what I'm talking about. So I want to dissect this video a little bit more and share some of the comments that were added onto this viral video because baby when i say it went viral your girl made the shade room behind this i made world star i made what else did i make oh countless numbers of other accounts so let's talk about it come on later by the name of mr daddy 63 made a video that went viral where he listed five things that he believes a woman should never have to do when she has a man in her life now, I would like to do my version of five things a man should never have to do when he has a woman in his life. And this is a man who is taking care of business. We're not talking about you bums. Out. So I had to premise this video with making sure everybody understood the things that I'm listing in this video has nothing to do with these bum dudes out here. Y'all know what a bum is. The man not operating in his purpose. He has no drive. He has no ambition. He has no vision. He is literally just coasting through life doing whatever makes him feel good. He has no intent to improve anybody's quality of life. He has no goals for himself. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Most likely the Pookie or Ray Ray is somewhere sleeping on somebody's couch. Those are not the men that I'm referring to here. I'm referring to the men who know that they are responsible for being an example in their community and they are holding down households and they are improving the quality of life of their women and their children. They work in hard, they're visionaries, and they are intentional with how they operate. Those are the men that I'm talking about. Okay, let's continue. Okay, here goes. Number one, a man should never have to pack his own lunch. You're already cooking dinner. Why not set an extra chicken leg, an extra potato, and an extra serving of broccoli to the side when you cook so he can have a lunch ready to go in the morning? I'm telling you, it's a big flex for him to be sitting in that break room with coworkers and he's got a nice lunch packed and it's smelling good and throw a little note in there and telling him what you're going to do later on that night. And he blush. Okay, so my point number one was about packing a lunch. If you do not cook, it's okay. If your man doesn't like leftovers, it's okay. Because like this comment here, this man said he don't want no chicken and, and macaroni and cheese and broccoli at work. I get it. Sometimes I don't want to eat heavy either. So the point I was making is making your man feel loved and cared for because he's getting up every day to make sure that you are provided and protected. It's simple. It does not make you less than a woman. It doesn't make you a pick me. What it makes you is a woman who is not only caring for his her man's nutritional value and making sure he's eating well, but also, ladies, this is how you control the finances. Let's be honest. If they don't eat something that's packed from home, they're going to eat out. And if they're working five days a week and they're eating lunch out five days a week, you know that's a lot of money. So as the woman of the house, not only are you taking care of your man's nutritional needs, but you're also handling your family's financial needs by making sure ain't no money being wasted. And that little extra note that you threw in there, Watch that man come straight home because he want to see you perform what you talked about in that note. That's a way for you to get him home real quick. I'm just saying, I might not know everything, but I know a way to motivate a man and some good food and some good. They'll move real quick. All right, let's keep going. Two, a man should never have to ask for encouragement. 
The world beats our men up enough. Why is he being beat up at home? If this man is handling all of his business and he has a day where he's feeling down and he's feeling like he can't do it, encourage that man. Speak life into that man because the better he feels, the better he can make you feel. Teamwork. Okay, ladies. So number two is a man should never have to ask for encour encouragement. Yes, I get that what he's doing on a day-to-day -day is his responsibility. Yes, I get that's his job, that, that that's what he's supposed to do. But if we're going to use the word job, with every job comes a pay and a benefits package. And part of your benefits package of being your man is words of encouragement. Sometimes these men don't hear it outside in the world. They don't hear it from their jobs. They definitely don't hear it for these little kids that we done created. Sometimes as women, we are the only light that these men have. If the world is beating our men up and treating our men poorly, don't be that. Don't be an addition to that. Speak life into that man. Encourage him. Sometimes he's going to feel down just like we feel down sometimes. Take a moment and just tell him how proud you are. I'm, babe, I can't believe you're still going. I know you can, though. It takes 2.5 seconds to send a text message in the middle of the day. Just know that I see you and I appreciate you and I respect you for going so hard for your family. A lot of times that's all those men need to keep going to the next day. Let's go to the next point. Number three. A man should never have to ask to be celebrated. We expect him to do all of these things for us and you can't say thank you. You can't say I appreciate you. You can't make a big deal when he walks into the house with something new for you. You can't make a big deal when he cuts the grass and he got them lines perfectly. You can't celebrate that man for handling business. Celebrate that man. And sometimes you need to make a big deal out of it. So he feels the desire to keep doing it. Okay, so my point number three was a man should never have to ask to be celebrated. And you would think that it's common sense that if somebody does something nice for you, you say thank you. But you will be surprised how many men are operating in their purpose out here to make sure that their wives and their girlfriends are catered to, are spoiled. And because we get so comfortable, because we get so complacent, because we start telling ourselves, well, that's what he's supposed to do. It is, but you're supposed to say thank you. And sometimes the same way when we cook a fancy meal and we want them to ooh and ah as they eat, sometimes you need to ooh and ah over the grass. Ladies, I know we don't care nothing about that grass. I know that's a man thing, but I'm telling you, taking a second to go outside and be like, babe, when I say I ain't never seen these lines so perfect, oh babe, the hedges look perfectly square. You, you did it by, by hand? That's crazy, babe. You, you showed out. It boosts this man up and it makes him feel appreciated. It makes him feel celebrated. And I'm going to give y'all a little piece of game too. Something that I'm going to try in my next relationship that one of my veteran clients that have been married for years and years told me. She will allow her man to hear her on the phone bragging on him to one of his girlfriends, one of her girlfriends. Yeah, girl, so he took me out to dinner last night. And when we got back home, he rubbed my feet. It was such a nice night. I had such a nice time. Girl, he looks so nice. Girl, he bought me this new handbag. Oh, it's so pretty. Let me send you a picture of it, girl. I can't believe it. That man would be standing in the corner like, yeah, I did that. What's wrong with celebrating that man and gassing his head up? Because I promise you, he going to want to outdo that feeling the next time. Everybody wins. All right, let's go to the next point. Number three, this man should never have to ask for intimacy. Why are we using it as a weapon? You want him to get up and handle business without being asked. Why you can't handle business without being asked? Why does he have to beg and plead and bribe you to handle his physical needs? What did your grandmama teach you? You never let a man leave out of the house angry, hungry, or Okay, so point number four that I mistakenly said point number three to is about intimacy. And I know that there is a difference between intimacy and adult time, but I was trying to keep it PG, okay? So our men, major complaint is that they feel like they got to beg, borrow, bum, and steal to get some action with you. Why? Like, let's be honest. 
These men need that stress reliever. It is a medical fact that it lowers blood pressure, that it keeps their stress level low. We are here saving lives, servicing our men, if you know what I mean. And although I do not condone cheating, a man goes without long enough, ladies, where you think, what do you think is going to happen? You think he's just going to eventually not want it? No, he's going to go seeking elsewhere. And we know you don't want that. Now, if your man is out handling business every day and he is taking care of all of your needs emotionally, financially, why you can't take care of that man's physical needs? And let's be honest. If you've been with your man long enough, you know exactly what to do to wrap that thing up in about five to seven minutes, 10 max. So don't take that long. Act like you're excited about it. Get in there, get it done so that man can get a good night's sleep and get up tomorrow and be ready to beat the world up behind you. Because we know that's how they are, right? Okay, let's keep going. And last but not least, a man should never have to ask for support. If this man is a visionary, if he's leading his house, if he is operating in the capacity that benefits everybody in his family... When he comes to you with a plan and he tells you, baby, what do you think? You need to be saying, I'm on board and what can I do? Because the better your family operates, the better everybody is in whole, the easier your job is ultimately. Support that man when he's doing positive things and put in effort to help him so y'all can build together and be a dream. All right, last but not least, point number five, we need to be supporting our men. Now, if he comes to you and says, baby, I'm going to open up a, a sand making shop in the middle of the desert. Yeah, we know that's not a good idea. And I will never encourage women to blindly follow men when the plan does not make sense. But our men listen to us, especially when we talk nicely. So if our men come to us with an idea that could be a viable business, a viable plan for the family to increase you know, or prove our quality of life, why would you not support that man? It don't always have to be your idea. It doesn't always have to go your way. It is okay for you to follow that man's lead. And it is okay for you to play a part or a role in his plan. So if this man says, babe, I noticed that during our kids' soccer games, there's absolutely no food on the field. What do you think about us getting a hot dog stand? Here's the hot dog stand that I found. Here's the supplies. I think that if I go out there on every other Saturday, I'll never miss our kids' games. And I can have my friend run it on the Saturdays that we do have games. And it looks like we can make about $1,500 on a Saturday. What do you think? Your answer needs to be, I'm thinking of a cute logo that we could get put on the side of the hot dog stand. And, you know, we got a Sam's Club card. We can go and get all of this food on a discount. I just seen an ad. Get to it. He's trying to add money to your family's financials. He is adding a stream of income to your generational wealth. He is starting a business that who knows? It may go from one hot dog cart to 15. And this could be a passive income once y'all get it staffed. It helps everybody. So, in my opinion, we should support our men. We should encourage our men. We should spoil them with packing their lunches and leaving little notes. And we should celebrate our men when they're doing regular stuff and when they're doing big stuff. All of these are things that will help build our men up and let them know that we have their backs. Is that too much to ask? I don't think so, guys. So that's my review or my um, added info commentary to my own video i appreciate you guys so much for watching i'll say this hey guys bye guys and we'll see you